All right, and so while winner is equal to no winner, right, then start the game again and then get the new winner, get the winner from that, from starting again and check. If the winner is still equal to no winner, play again on, and get another winner until the winner is not equal to no winner. If, because if it's not equal to no winner, then this while loop is done. That means we found a winner, so display. In, in this case, once the game starts for the very first time, if the winner, this is only this message is only going to be printed if the the, the content of or the value stored in the variable winner is not equal to no winner. Because if it's not equal to no winner, if it, okay, okay, if the value is not is is not equal to no winner, right? Then it means there's there's an actual there was an actual uh, winner, which is either the computer or the the user. And in that case, print a message for the computer or the or the user, right? But if it's equal to no winner, then this message is not going to be printed. Rather, it's going to jump to this while loop. And it's going to be true because while winner is equal to no winner. And so because the winner variable is equal to no winner, if it's equal to no winner, then this while loop is going to be true. This while condition here is going to be true. While winner is equal to no winner, okay? While winner is going to be no winner, which is it's going to be no winner, right? If winner is going to is if winner is no winner, then this is going to be true. And so start again. When you start again, then it's, it's a new game, and you know based on the values that the user and the computer chose, and a winner is going to be generated again. Return that winner. So that's why when I call this guess function, I receive that value here in winner, and I check the winner again, right? So winner will change based on a new game started, and if if we get a new winner, check to see if it's no winner. If it's no winner, keep on asking. If if there's a winner, then end the game. Okay, and so now I believe this will work. We have our functions defined. We have our main function defined that's running our program. The only thing is main is a function itself and nothing will happen until we call the main function. Now we have to call the main function because it's a function itself is just defined. If we don't call it, nothing happens. Although it's the, it's the function that's calling every other function, the main function is the function itself and it has to be called. And so I've called it here. And so now let's run this, make sure it's working. All right, so I'm going to save it where I save everything else. I'm going to go to the desktop, Python, Programming Challenges, Chapter 5. And I'm going to create a new folder and call it Rock, Paper, Scissors. And then I'm going to save this also as Rock, Paper, Scissors. Py. Save this and let's see what happens. Okay, so it's, it's it seems like so far so good. I maybe we'll have some errors along the way, but so far so good. All right, please enter your choice and I'm going to enter rock. It says the computer chose rock. Okay, all right, so this means that, right, this means that we both chose the same thing. And that means that the while loop is kicking in. The while loop is kicking in here because, okay, okay, so. If I chose rock and the computer chose rock in this determine winner function here, in this determine winner function, if I chose rock and the computer also chose rock, then no winner will stay the same. Winner, none of these conditions will be true, and in that case, winner will stay at no winner. And if over here, if it, while the winner is no winner, then play again, and that's exactly what what it's doing. It's playing again. Okay, where is it? It's playing again. And it's asking me the same thing, right? But I need to I need a message to be displayed. This while loop is kicking in. It's playing again, but I need a message before it, it, I, and we start the game again. I'm going to print a message here. Oops. If that's the case, then print a message before you start again. Print a message and say that you both chose the same thing. Right? Let's do that. Now let's run it. I'm sure we wouldn't choose the same thing, but let's let's just try it. Rock. Comp the, comp the computer chose paper, computer one, and let's see if it's true based on that, uh, based on this. So, rock and paper, right? So, if one player chooses rock, uh, this is over here. If one player chooses paper and the other player chooses rock, then the paper wins. Okay, and so I chose rock, computer chose paper, and the computer and the computer won, paper rocks rock, which is true. So, let's try it again. I'm going to still choose rock. The computer chose scissors and you won. Right, so let's see. 
uh, if one player chooses rock, right? I guess. Let's see, it's rock and scissors. Let's see, rock and scissors. Okay. If one player chooses rock and the other player chooses scissors, then rock wins. I chose rock, computer chose the computer chose scissors and I win, which makes sense. You won the rock the rock smashes the scissors. Makes sense. Alright, so let's try I'm going to try paper. The computer chose rock. Alright, so paper and rock. If one player chooses paper and the other player chooses rock, then the paper wins. Alright, I chose paper, computer chose rock, I win. It makes sense. Paper rocks rock. I'm I'm looking for a case where we both choose the same thing. Let's try rock. Okay, so rock and scissors, rock and scissors. I won because rock smashes the scissors. Let's keep trying until we get both being equal. Rock and scissors, same thing. Rock and paper, computer, the computer, the paper wraps rock. Okay, so paper wraps rock because paper wins if someone chooses paper and the other player chooses rock. Paper wins because the p computer chose paper, so computer wins. Uh, then let's test to see if a case where we both chose the same thing. Let's keep trying. Okay. Now please enter your choice. I chose rock. The computer chose rock too. You both chose the same thing. Please enter your choice. Now the game has started again. I'm going to type in rock again. And then now the game ended because we chose different. And I won because I chose rock. Let's try one last time. I'm going to try again with rock. See? I chose rock. The computer chose rock. We both chose the same thing. I'm going to choose rock again. Okay, computer one. So we can see that it's working. So we have to try paper. Okay, I chose paper, the computer chose paper. You both chose the same thing, please. Enter. I'm gonna choose paper again. Oops, I think I, I, um, I run it again, sorry. I'm gonna choose paper, okay. Okay, I, we both chose the same thing. Okay, now I'm going to type paper again. Hit enter. The computer chose paper. Okay, we go through the same thing again. This is crazy. I chose paper, computer chose paper for the first time. I chose paper again. The computer chose paper for the second time. All right, let's type in paper again. If that happens for the third time, that would be, be surprising. All right, now the computer chose scissors. Now, computer won because scissors cuts paper. That's true. Um, because if one player chooses scissors and the other player chooses paper, Okay, so I chose paper, computer chose scissors, then who wins? Then the scissors wins, which makes sense. So the computer won, scissors cuts paper. All right, this is working fine. All right, so now we, we just need to space it, space it out with um, new line, new line characters, right? We just need to space it out. And so let's do that. Um, um, there are a couple, of ways to, a couple of ways to do that, right? Um, let's see. All right. Please enter your choice. Um, so please enter your choice here. The computer chose paper. Well, after after your first input, after please enter your choice, we want to have like a line, a, a new line after it, right? Um, before that, let me just show you the two ways. And so this is where we are getting the user's choice. After the user's choice, we want like a line break there, right? So if you call the print function this way and you type in something like this, right? And you run your program after getting the user's choice after getting my choice it prints exactly what you, what you wanted to type okay print exactly that you can see over here that i told you to print exactly this and it printed it now by default the print function always ends with a new line character meaning that after displaying whatever you told it to display okay it's going to go ahead and display whatever you told it to display all right but it's going to move the position from here from the end of the line to the next line by default and anything that comes after that print function after this print function is displayed from the next line going okay so that's exactly what happened by default it ends with a new line character okay and so when you call the print function and pass in nothing you are still telling it to print something on this line but in this case whatever whatever you're telling it to print is nothing you're telling it to print nothing on this line because you're passing nothing here so you're telling it to print nothing on this line but because by default the print function always ends with a new line, it's it's going to move the position from here. Prints nothing here first, but move the position from here to the next line. And anything that comes after that print function is going to be displayed from the next line going. Okay. So by so when you call the print function passing nothing here, you are basically you're basically creating an empty line here. That's one way to do it. And so when I put a print function after the user choice, we can see that when I try again, try the game again, and I type in rock, we can see a nice line here. 
okay and it tells us the computer chose scissors you won right and right after it's possible that both of us right it's possible um that it's possible that this message won't be, won't be displayed this message is always only, only going to be displayed if the value of winner is uh, not equal to no winner okay so if there's actually a winner right this message is going to be displayed it's possible that it's possible this message won't be displayed this message won't be displayed if the content of winner is, is equal to is equal to winner if the content of winner, sorry this will be displayed right if the content of winner or the value of winner is equal to no winner if it's actually equivalent to no winner and so it's possible we, we can have this message displayed. you both chose the same thing before that we want a line break right and so we can go ahead and call the print function this way right to have a line break there or there's another way to have a new line which is the new line character before this message is displayed before the you both chose the same thing is displayed i can type in the backslash n and the backslash n starts an escape sequence. Like actually, the backslash starts an escape sequence, which means when you type in the backslash in double quotations in a print function, it won't be displayed on the screen. The backslash starts an escape sequence, meaning when you type in the backslash, it, it, it expects one of special one of some special um, escape characters, and those escape characters have functions. When when an escape character follows a backslash. It causes something to happen. It's not printed on the screen, but it causes something to happen. In this case, n happens to be one of the special escape characters. And an n following the backslash n, okay, it, they are not printed, okay. But what happens is a new line is created, okay, meaning that before this, you both chose the same thing is displayed. A new line will be created. So in other words, the position, okay, will be here, right? The position will be moved to the next line first of all because there's a backslash n. And anything that follows that backslash n will be displayed on the next line, on that next line going. So by having a backslash n, this is together, okay? Both of them create the new line character, or, or basically moves the position from, from where it's at to the next line. And anything that comes after it will be displayed from that next line going, okay? And so by doing this, anytime that you both chose the same thing, message is displayed. Anytime that is displayed, there will be you know, th th there will be a, a, a line above it. Okay, this message will be moved one 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 line below, which which basically is going to have. It's going there's going to be an an an, an um. There's going there's going to be um. It's going to be shifted one level down, so it's, we're going to have a new line after it. Okay, we're going to sorry, we're going to have a new line before it. Uh, um, yeah, a, a new line before it. Before this message is, is going to be displayed, it's going to be shifted one line, one line down before it's displayed that, that's what i'm trying to say so that's one way to do it and that's the other way okay so now let's try it and it's going to be a bit clear now so rock the computer chose paper computer one let's try again where we both choose the same thing see now it says please enter your choice rock the computer chose rock you both chose the same thing please enter your choice and so now it's spaced out nicely and then now it says you both chose the same thing again please enter your choice the computer chose scissors you won and the works matches the scissors. Now we can add more spaces if you want. And now you know you know both ways, and so please go ahead and do that. All right. So this is our main function. These are our functions. All right. So this is the last program in chapter five. The next we'll start. Uh, the next program is going to be the first program in chapter six. All right. Now I know there has been uh, there has been like a delay, like a week delay. No, actually a couple of days delay because I um, posted um, some learn Java tutorials but still um i feel bad because of that i had an issue with my computer right and but it's fixed it's fixed now and so yeah you, you should be you should be seeing um the, the videos as as they used to come in um so yes um don't worry about those uh, you you see them very soon and i also wanted to say uh, thank you for for everyone watching this i i'm i see the comments and people saying that it's helping them these comments are really good i i they mean a lot to me and they make me very happy i was shown shown them i actually mentioned mentioned this in one of my java videos and i was showing some of the comments to my uh, two of my close friends and i was telling them how how you know nice these comments are some of them are saying that it's these these videos are better um like they um not not better per se because i feel bad when i say that but some of them are saying that 
these videos are helping them more than tutoring and helping them more than their professor. I'm like, you know, I kind of feel bad when they say that sometimes, but at the same time, it's it's very, uh, it's it's good because it's good. It makes me very happy when they say that too, right? I feel bad for the, for the, um, you know, I for the professor professors and the tutors. I feel they are doing their best. I know, I know they are doing their best, and so I don't. I feel bad in that sense, but at the same time, I feel very happy because. People say that it's helping them more than you know, tutoring and their professors. Uh, it's it's really great. It makes me so happy, and to me, it's very humbling and very, very. Um, it's an honor to be to be honest with you. I feel very very. It's like food. It's like energy for me when I see these comments. And it's really if it's really helping. Oh my goodness! It makes me so happy. It makes me very very excited uh, uh, to 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 do this. Really excited. You have no idea um, how it makes me very excited. Um, so yeah, thank you for being a part of this, and thank you for you know, for, you know, yes, for 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 being a part of it. It's for me, it's great, it's great, it's great that it's helping. Okay, all right. So the next video is in chapter uh, in Python is going to be the first in chapter six. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, take care of yourself. If you have any questions, comments down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Okay. Um, this has been part of me again. This has been part of. Uh, I said this in my Java video too. This has been part of me. I say this at the end of every video. If you have any questions, yeah, I say that all the time. All right, don't worry. <laughs> it's part of me now, but you know, you get used to it if if you're just hearing this. Um, but I mean them though. Although I say I say this, you know, something very similar too. At the end of every, um, at the end of each of my videos. All right, let me end this because I'm feeling very, very 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 chatty now. I feel like you know chatting with you guys, you know forever so <laughs> i i talk a lot i guess and, and so let me just end here please comment below if you have any questions and i'll do everything to respond to them as always thank you very much for watching take care of yourselves have a good day have a have a good night have a nice sleep have a nice time and i, I say that too all the time but i mean them i mean them it's really <laughs> i smile every time i say that i mean them too anyway i'll see you next time with the next video all right then bye bye